Hi, this is Moser with a quick tutorial on writing electron arrangement in the electron configuration notation. So, by the time you're done watching this video, you should be able to write the electron arrangement for any element in electron configuration notation. What you already need to know coming in is how to write electron arrangement in orbital notation, how to find the number of electrons in any atom of any element, and how to draw the subshell filling diagram. So, you know how to write electron configuration and orbital notation. Good! So you know that boron with 5 electrons looks like this, and magnesium with 12 electrons looks like this. That's not so painful, that's not so hard, but what about ugh, iodine? What about the big atoms? These become pretty cumbersome. Fortunately, there's an easier way. Now, We've written our subshell filling diagram here, and we're ready to use it. We know that boron fills 1s, fills 2s, and then has one electron in the 2p subshell, specifically in the 2px orbital, but that doesn't matter for what we're about to do. In the electron configuration notation, we write the name of the subshell, and as a superscript behind it, we put in the number of electrons found in that subshell. So we'd write 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. It's really that easy. If you need to visualize it, you can always sort of block off, especially with larger atoms, the subshell so you know how many you're looking at. And starting out, most people still find that they need to write the orbital notation, but as you get more proficient at this, you'll no longer have to do that and you'll be able to go straight to the electron configuration notation. Let's do the electron configuration notation for magnesium. So for magnesium, I'm going to look and see that there's my 1s, there's my 2s, there's my 2p, and there's my 3s. So when I write this in electron configuration notation, I'll write 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. That's it. Boy, that's a whole lot easier. Oh boy, well what about when we get something like iodine? This is where most people start off definitely having to write the orbital notation. So I'm going to block off my subshells like this, 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, there's my 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d, and 5p. Now I'm going to write 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, what a pain in the tuchus, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, no, I think I have that wrong. Did you catch my mistake? I got carried away and I added an extra electron in the 5p subshell. So this gives me the, the electron arrangement for iodine written in a slightly simplified format. What's important to note, we're not doing anything different than we did when writing orbital notation. What we're showing is still the arrangement of electrons in this atom. We're just taking a shortcut and not drawing out each individual orbital. It's important that you know this is just a different way of writing the exact same information. Okay, well let's start trying to do one of these without doing the orbital notation first. Let's pick calcium, Ca. It's got 20 electrons. So I'm going to go ahead and write 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Well, right there I know that I have how many electrons? 10. I'm up to 10 electrons. I'm just adding those superscripts. So I know I have 10 electrons. I know that I have 10 more electrons to add. Well, I know that after 2p, I'm going to fill the 3s orbital. That gives me two more. I'm up to 12. Then I'm going to fill the 3p orbital. That can hold 6. That would get me to 18. And then I'm heading for the 4s orbital. That gets me 2. Okay, so 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20. Hey, that's it. That's my electron configuration notation showing the electron arrangement of a calcium atom. 
Now, electron configuration notation is also pretty commonly used to show an atom, and you can determine what atom, what element you're looking at by counting the electrons. Let's try that quickly. If I look at this electron configuration notation and I'm asked, this represents an atom of what element? I'm going to do the same thing I did in reverse. I'm going to add up my superscripts, 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 26. This is something with 26 electrons. What is it? It's our old friend, iron. Go ferrous metals. Okay, a few final quick notes on this. Please, 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 for the love of everything and anything that you hold dear, do not say 1s squared. It's not squared. It's 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. You get the picture. These are not being raised to some power that is not an exponent. It is just a form of notation. Okay, you've got your practice sheet. You're now ready to do step two and complete the electron configuration notation for each of those elements. Once you're done with that, you'll get one more shortcut. Boy, is that going to change your life.